Hi everyone and welcome to this Star Rapid tutorial. In this episode we're going to continue talking about designing for 3D metal printing. Today we'll be going more in depth into some of the key features to take into consideration when designing your parts. We'll start off by looking at wall thickness, gaps and holes. 3D metal printing allows us to create complex designs that are not possible with traditional manufacturing methods. But the process doesn't come without limitations, so let's look at some of them, starting with walls. In this CAD model, you can see a benchmark with walls starting from 0.1mm. Your design software will allow you to create these virtual features, but what will they look like when printed? Here we have the printed benchmark, going from 0.1mm all the way up to 1mm. You can see that the walls for the range of 0.1 to 0.3mm have all failed. So when you're looking to print thin walls, it's recommended to build your walls at a thickness of at least 0.5mm. Now let's move on to gaps. The limitations for gaps vary widely based on machines. So for our Renishaw, we've printed gaps starting from as small as 0.1mm going all the way up to 1mm. As you can see on the smallest gaps, the sides have merged together. So the general rule of thumb is to design gaps no smaller than 0.5 millimeters. And finally, let's look at holes. Using the same benchmark, we can see that the range of 0.1 to 0.3 millimeters have all merged together. So when designing holes in your parts, make sure that you also make them at least 0.5 millimeters. Unfortunately, these guidelines are not absolutes. The limitations for gaps and wall thickness will change based on the geometry of what you're printing as well as your printing angles. So that's all we have for this video. Thanks for watching. In our next episode, we'll be looking at overhangs and bridge distance. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Until next time.